Astro implements the Pixhawk payload bus standard. We call our version the FreeFly Smart Dovetail. It's a quick release that provides mechanical connection and electrical connection for power and data. It's an open standard. There's a draft on our wiki today. It's pretty close. We're finalizing a few things and we'll give another update when it's ready. If you're a payload manufacturer, implementing this standard is a way to control your destiny. You don't have to ask aircraft manufacturers for permission to fly your payload. Simply implement the standard. It'll plug in and fly today on Astro and any other vehicle that implements the standard. To start developing a payload that uses the smart dovetail, we've made a dev kit. Here are the parts. This is the payload side. You can see that it has the same mechanical features as this dovetail. We offer a different printed circuit board. This one has the same connector on this side, but it offers a connector on the other side so that you can attach a cable to your payload. So this PCB goes in like this. This connector here mates with the electrical connector in the receiver so that when you mate it like this, it makes this electrical connection and it provides a place that you can make a cable for your payload. So we'll ship a shell and a ribbon cable and then you can attach your payload here. This quick release attaches to Astro like this. It offers M3 fasteners on a 32 millimeter square. This bolt pattern is a free fly standard. We implement it on everything. So you can use that pattern to bolt onto Astro's vibration isolator or onto Astro's chassis, but also onto other aircraft like Alta X or any other piece of free fly equipment that you want. The cable from the quick release attaches to the Astro IO panel. The spec for this IO panel is on our website today. You can see that it offers one payload connector, which is a consolidated version of the others. Power, Ethernet, USB, things of that nature, all together in one connector. We've got a couple example payloads set up here to show you the possibilities. So first of all, it'll have some threaded holes on the bottom. We're playing around with the exact pattern, but you'll be able to do things like attach variable weights to it. We do this uh, during our flight testing. Another thing you can do is we're prototyping with this camera right now. The camera offers an ethernet connection on the back. So we've made a cable. We just took a standard ethernet cable like this, and then we cut it off and we soldered it onto ribbon cable like this and inserted it into the connector. So you can make a similar cable for your payload. And then it becomes very easy to connect whatever payload you have through the smart dovetail. And now you're ready to attach your payload to Astro. Like so. We're excited to hear what you think about the smart dovetail. Write to us, support at freeflysystems.com. Let us know what you think about the system, what do you think about the dev kit, what you want to do with it. We're excited to be enabling you to fly your payloads on Astro. We're cutting final versions uh, of these parts right now, and we'll be back with another update when they're ready to ship. See you then.